with some more college football 25. Back with another road to glory. <clears throat> and another game that we should win. Glad to have you with us from Las Cruces, New Mexico, and Aggie Memorial Stadium, home of the New Mexico State Aggies. And we have a showdown coming up in the land of enchantment. And this is the kind of game college football fans love because they don't have to wait for the weekend for this Conference USA showdown. As we'll see, the Kennesaw State Owls taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the New Mexico State Aggies. Glad to have you with us for EA Okay, this is a must-win game. If we want to make a bowl game. Takes a handoff and he's going right. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Keep it on the ground. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. On the move. It's Allen. They're trying to get to it. Their pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Quick strike. Oh, a nice play. <clears throat> And that's incomplete. I know that shot down the field was incomplete, but you gotta keep taking shots. Those receivers love to go deep. It gives them a breath of fresh air. They get more excitement. They're going to the quarterback with a little bit more juice because you know you're feeding them. So I would keep taking deep shots down. I like the play call on offense. I like you trying to get the running back involved in the pass game too. Defense was ready for that one. Let's see what you got dialed up on third. And he got a hand in there, knocked it away, incomplete. In a slow start for this Kennesaw State offense. He'll start this drive firing. Got it in the middle of Scott. They get him down after he makes the catch. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. No. Dropped. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Didn't find much room. He'll pick up a couple out to the five. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. And he caught. No, he dropped it. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. 
And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Nice move to keep running. Yeah, like, he's got the... everything it's drops looking downfield it's Allen working that left side now they stop him almost immediately short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first that last completion sets him up on second down pressure coming blasted as he lets it go that pass is incomplete and they might be fortunate it wasn't not free for a fumble the pass he just gets rid of it to the running back underneath and they wrap him up but not before he's got enough for the first down he's gonna pass looking to the big tight end and it's incomplete if you're gonna take a hit like that you might as well hang on to the ball running out of time here in the first half they're gonna have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break he makes the connection. Sweet feet on the move. Stop just across the 50 at the 49 yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Let's it fly deep downfield. It's incomplete, and they tried to get one on the board before the break and couldn't quite make the connection. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like it's been a terrific scene there today in Las Cruces. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. And with that, let's send it. to the back they can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it and he's out to the 43 halfway there on first down it's second and five pass the sticks and he may get more they get him on the ground but not before he gets enough for the first down now they'll try to cash in this drive first and ten from the 50 able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow it's second and seven went to the running game on first down now here they come again looking to throw it's allen it's caught at the 35 he's got room and they finally haul him down but not before the good catch and run this offense hasn't found the end zone yet starting to move it's first and ten Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. After the incompletion, here comes second and ten from the 32. And you want consistency from your quarterback, man. You don't want the up and down. You don't want the roller coaster. And last week, man, you got it. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Kennesaw State right back to work. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all this? To the end zone, end. It's going to be picked off. Now our guys have the ability to, to break on the football, go make a play, and catch it. You know, you play defense for a reason. Pulls and fires complete. 
Coming off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the run. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. This Kennesaw State offense is on the move. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking to throw a talent. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure. Yeah, yeah, this has not been a good, good fun game for the quarterback. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. He's looking to throw. And that pass intercepted. Didn't really have room to operate on the return, but he hands him the ball at the 32. Well, the defense came into this. And I got benched. Well, they say you win a few, you lose a few, and some get rained out. Would have been good for this team if this one had gotten rained out because they lost badly. Yeah, not a lot to be too proud about in this one here. Good news is you get to go back to the drawing board. You get to go back, you get to have another week of practice as a coaching staff, try and find ways to get players in position to go out and make plays. And it sucks because it's now not going to be ball. Which one, David. Yeah, and you're going to watch this tape, and it's going to hurt because you're going to watch it with the coaches, and you're going to see the mess ups and all the things you could have done better but you got to learn from it you got to get better you got to grow and that's how that works so that's going to do it for us for jesse palmer david pollock i'm reese davis saying so long this has been another pre Next week we got Liberty. Oh, actually, yeah, we can still make a bowl game. We just have to beat Louisiana Tech and Liberty. Okay, that'll do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good one, and I'm out. Bye.